What isn't nearly as bad as Reddit would have you believe? Working through relationship problems. Your relationship. I mentioned an ex being emotionally immature and someone said he's a covert narcissist not every. Relationship conflict is a sign that someone is abusing you. My mental health. Not everything means I'm a sociopath with ADHD. As a father. Taking my daughters to the park. Nobody ever thought I was a predator or looked at my suspiciously. If anything most people gave me positive vibes because they liked seeing a father actively involved. Nor was it strange to see other men. Going to social events. And or having a large or multiple friend circles. Just because someone is an acquaintance and not a best friend is not a bad thing. You can still enjoy their company. Everything. This site loves to complain and take everything to the extreme. You do not get explosive diarrhea when you eat Taco Bell. Agreeing to disagree and moving on. The average Redditor gives advice like being correct and proving one's correctness is extremely important, even in causal conversation. As someone who used to be that way, I cannot emphasize how much less stressful life is if you're willing to just move on and compromise. Even if you think you're 1000% right, obviously there are things you should never compromise on. But those are a lot easier to recognize when you let the small disagreements go. 1. Introverts. 2. Extroverts. Reddit isn't the majority, most of the time it's actually a very small vocal echo chamber. Don't take everything seriously here. Seeing both sides of an argument. God, this site runs on absolutism. Life. A lot of the stuff our gaming complains about. I know a few single fathers. Not a single one has ever felt in any way judged for taking their kids places. They're just a dad at the park. To hear Reddit tell it every single father on the planet is immediately arrested and thrown in. Prison without trial for being near kids. Life in America. We absolutely have our problems. But so do all countries. Reddit loves to compare the most awfully designed suburb of a terrible city with. Like. Downtown Stockholm lol. Not having a bidet. Buying a new car instead of a used one. Going to college if you have an actual career goal in mind. The United States. Go to a major sub and ask a question about the USA and you'd think it's a dystopian hellhole. Being a parent. Raising a whole human from scratch is freaking exhausting. Yeah. But kids are also hilarious. Sweet. Fun. Loving. Weird. Quirky. And awesome all of which massively and unequivocally outweighs hardship. Obvious disclaimer. If you don't want kids, you probably won't have this experience. If you do want kids, prepare for the worst and enjoy the best it's a life-changing kind of joy. To clarify, I don't think anyone should be talked into having kids if they don't want to. Any large city, e.g. as described in any places I'll never visit thread. Age gaps in relationships. Not saying they're all okay but a lot of Reddit seems to believe they are all inherently abusive. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.